How to paint interior woodwork. Painting interior woodwork, such as windows, skirting boards, architraves and doors, is an integral part of giving your room a new lease of life. This video will give you the help and advice needed to get a good finish. You'll find a full list of tools and materials you'll need at the end of this video. Your woodwork should have already been prepped for painting. See our How to Prepare Interior Woodwork for Painting video for more information. Apply masking tape. Starting with the windows, apply masking tape to the window pane and either mask or remove any fittings, such as locks, latches or hinges. Remember to open your windows as you paint so that you don't seal them shut. Paint the woodwork undercoat. Now paint the frames and sills with a suitable wood undercoat. Use a small brush for windows. If you're painting the walls as well, it's worth doing the undercoat on all woodwork before you do the top coat on the walls. That way you don't need to be too precious on the edges that meet the walls. In the same way, mask off areas you want to protect and apply the undercoat to skirting boards, architraves and doors. When doing the skirting boards, take particular care to protect your floor. It's worth putting down masking tape and attaching your protective sheets. Finish off by doing the architraves and doors. Clean your brushes using water for water-based paints or white spirit for oil-based paints. Let the undercoat dry following manufacturer's instructions. Paint woodwork top coat. You're now ready to apply your top coats. It's best to put two coats on woodwork for a longer lasting and more protective finish. We would recommend using a water-based product as they are quick drying, don't smell like solvent-based paint and the white options don't yellow. We're using a gloss paint as our top coat which will give a shiny finish. You can opt for a satin, eggshell or matte finish, but it's all down to personal preference. As with the undercoat, start with the windows, followed by the skirting boards and then architraves and doors. Interior woodwork paint tends to be thicker than emulsion, so it has a tendency to slowly drip if too much is applied in one go. Be mindful of this as you paint and don't overload the brush. Use a suitably sized brush and take your time on any edges that meet your painted walls. Certain top coats for wood, especially oil-based paints, are harder to wipe off surfaces if you make a mistake. But don't worry, if the wall won't wipe clean, you can always touch it up with emulsion when you've finished. Wait for the first coat to fully dry before applying the second with the same process. Check manufacturer's instructions for drying times. Now all that's left is to let the last coat dry and then carefully remove any masking tape and replace any fixtures or fittings. Your woodwork is now complete. Here are the tools you will need to paint your interior woodwork. Here are the materials you will need. And this is the safety equipment.